The way autograph has evolved is, is, is that it covers the, the three uh, sort of dimensions of mathematics. You've got the one-dimensional side where you do statistics and statistical diagrams. It's a very popular part of mathematics. It's a lovely way of bringing real data into the classroom. Um, and so this, this aspect of the program produces the histograms, the bar charts and so on, but all from a pedagogical point of view. There are many programs out there um, which perform statistical calculations and just give you answers, um, but autograph is a bit different because it, uh, it is dynamic and you can drag data around, you can change your parameters. Um, it does all the probability distributions, for example, but such as are done in the AP Stats course. Um, so that's the one-dimensional side. Uh, the two-dimensional side regular graphing area and uh, there you can do your uh, ordinary graphs, uh, vectors, uh, differential equations, uh, transformations, all sorts of things. And then the real fun starts with the three dimensions, um, but you can do your three dimensional work. You can look at a cone, you can look at the conic sections very nicely in 3D, you can zoom around, fly around the back of it, um, do all your lines and planes, and in particular uh, you can do um, volumes of revolution, which is uh, another concept that's really hard to get across. You create your area and then around it goes, uh, and again you can fly through the middle of it. All the things that um, I think just add that little bit of a sparkle that was just not possible before.